to my channel. I am really excited to be doing this video for you guys today because I was able to order my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette this time around and I was able to get it in the mail this week so I'm very very extremely excited to be playing with this. This is one of those palettes that I wanted so 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 bad um, and the first time around I didn't get to the website in time in order to be able to order it before it sold out so of course I had to wait until it was back in stock and it finally came back in stock and I made sure I put my alarm clock I was right at my computer I mean I did whatever it needed to be done to get my hands on this palette I think this palette is absolutely beautiful it is unlike any of the other Morphe palettes that um, Morphe comes out with I think it's very unique and very different so um, I don't want to go into too much of a review because there are hundreds of review on this palette um, everyone and their mama has done a review on this palette so I don't want to go into details or into an actual review uh, unless you guys want it then just let me know in the comments down below but I will still tell you my thoughts on it I'm just not going to go into full-blown review on this palette on the details right everyone I think pretty much knows the price if you don't it was $38 just really quickly there are some neutral shimmers mattes darks pops of color here and there I mean it's just a beautiful beautiful palette I have already prepped my skin I moisturized primed and put on foundation uh, on my face. I've already done my eyebrows and I've also prepped or primed my lids, my eyelids. Hit the subscribe button if you like my videos. Also the notification bell so you're notified of any videos that I post to my channel. I'm also on social media. I'll link the name somewhere around here or here. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to put some tape on my eyes I, and what I do is I just place, place this on the back of my hand a couple times just to kind of Take away a little bit of the tackiness. Okay, I hope they're even. I can't tell with this lighting, but um, we'll roll with it. I'm gonna go in with the shade of light, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna set the foundation that I placed in my crease and in my brow bone. So we're gonna go ahead and set that. And I'm not setting my lid, I'm just setting my crease and above my crease, under my brow bone. I'm going to go on with the shade Pukey. Pukey is uh, this color right here. Let's just blend, apply, and blend. And of course, you want a little bit more deeper here than you do on your inner corner. We're going to go into that green shade in the shade Enchanted. This is the shade Enchanted, which is this one. And I'm just going to go in with a more denser brush. And this is a Glamour Dolls number 10. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to first start off in my crease, but on my outer V. So we're just going to concentrate the color here. Like that. And then we're going to as, as we buff that color in, we're going to go a little bit further in. So concentrate here and then just kind of drag and drag. With the same fluffy brush that I used Pukey. Same fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with some more of that pukey color and then I'm just going to lightly go on top of the green but not in the crease, just kind of like on the outer edges. Back into that green. This is a Morphe E, I'm sorry, Morphe AS9. I'm going to go back in with that green shadow and then I'm just going to place this right in my outer third so once I have that I'm going to go in with the shade Diva which is this one right here 
and I'm going to apply that with a concealer or flat. It's a concealer brush, but I will use it. And I'm going to actually... So pretty. This shade right here. And that shade is called Obsessed. Just to, just to give a little bit more dimension because these are very dark colors. We're going to apply this just in the center. I'm going to use my pinky. Okay. This is, again, just to give it a little bit more dimension in the middle of the eye you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with a this is my Zoeva this is my Zoeva 223 and I'm gonna go in with the shade Hunts which is this one so, which is this one this is Hunts because I wanna I wanna give a little bit more warmth to the, the outer part of the to the upper crease just a little bit more warmth back into this first shade that we use which is um, in light I'm just gonna go back on my brow bone and this is just gonna help clean up this area here the only thing I think this palette is missing is a matte brow bone shade you know like a matte beige there's two um, satin or there's two satin light shades, but I think a matte light shade would have been perfect. I think every palette should have one bone color matte shade, one black matte shade, um, one bone color highlight, and everything else that you guys want in between. Just my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead that is done and what I'm gonna do is I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye and I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some wing with a wing liner I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wing liner but I'm gonna do it off camera because it's hard to do on camera and I'm really trying for this video not to be 30 minutes long so I'll be right back okay so I got my my eyeliner I'm just gonna go ahead and line the bottom part of my lid or my lower lash line and then I'm gonna tight line Okay, and I didn't mention I'm using, I use the Wet n Wild Skinny Liner, um, Skinny Tip Eyeliner, the Wet n Wild for my uh, wing, and I'm using the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner in the shade Black. Black. Just ignore the mess of eyelash that I have going on. I'm just going to apply this first to my upper lash. And this is just so that my eyelashes um, kind of blend with the falsies. You know, so it kind of looks blended together. There's one spot there that's always sticking up. I'm not sure what's going on. So, so far, these lashes kind of suck. So. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape because we're going to go ahead and conceal um, and then finish the rest of the face. And when I pull off the tape, I like to just hold my skin up and then lightly. Look what? what a, oh, that's that mess. Don't mind that mess. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. You can see I made a mess. <laughs> I made a mess. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more foundation just because, of course, I messed up my face. And the foundation I used was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And I'm almost out of that one, which is a good thing because that just means that I get to buy another one. I'm going with my concealer, and this is the Sharp. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this, I'm, and this is in the shade Light. It's a little bit too light. The medium is a little bit too dark. I don't know if they have a, me a light medium. I, 
I hope they do because I really like this concealer. But again, the light's too light and then the medium is too dark, so. I'll go ahead and set my face with, um, I'm going to set my under eyes with my RCMA powder. I just use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to, to do that. I usually use my Beauty Blender. Again, my Beauty Sponge, but it is not damp. This foundation is matte. I'm not going to set the rest of my face. I just kind of did my under eye around this area where the, sh the where the foundation tends to wear off. And I'm going to go in with my Tarte Tardius Pro Glue in this shade Chisel. And I'm just using a um, an Elf Angle brush. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going <laughs> to. This is really pigmented, by the way. I forgot to say so. But it's also very easy to blend, so we'll work with what we have. I don't want to use any blush because I don't, I mean, I can use my Luminoso blush, um, but I don't really, I don't know, I'm just not in the blush mood, so we're gonna, I know I'm just not in the blush mood, so we're going to go in with this Hikari. Looks like this. And it has a little bit of pink, it has some shimmer, it has some bronze, and it's the shimmer bronze, and the uh, radiant shimmer bronze. And again, this is by Hikari. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm going to go in with the shade Abyss, which is this one right here. And, and I'm just going to push this really close to my lower lash line. with the shade Hunts. That's the reddish shade that we use in my crease. With the shade Silk Cream, which is actually the first one that I used that I didn't like on my crease because it's very similar to my skin tone. And I'm just gonna buff this out, so no harsh edges. I wanna go ahead and highlight my inner corner. And I'm gonna take the shade I'm going to take the shade Beam, which is this second lightest color here. I'm going to go ahead and apply, finish applying my mascara to my, to my lower lashes. And then I'm going to do some highlighting and some lipstick and we are done. And this is the Hypnosis, Lancome Hypnosis Mascara in the shade Black. And right now, this is actually one of my current favorites. For my highlight, I want to use the Artist Couture Diamond Powder in the shade Lumina Illuminati. Illuminati? Illuminati, yep. And I've not yet used this. I haven't been able to play with it since I got it in my BoxyCharm, but I think it looks so stunning. And of course, it's everywhere, even though it has a sifter. Even though it has a sifter, it is everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is just tap the excess. And this is a Morphe R36. It is currently my favorite highlighting brush. Let's go ahead and do this side. Tap off the excess. It's a loose powder, so you gotta go very, very light handed. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Damn. Look at that thing. Okay, we're gonna go in. Keep his bow. Or lips. I actually wanted to go in with the shade Beeper, but I think Beeper is going to be a little bit too dark for what I want. We're going to go with Beeper. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. We're going to line my lips with the Real Her 
Expert Advice Lip Liner, and this is in the shade I Am Unstoppable, I believe is what it is. And I suck at lining my lips, just so you guys know. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Beeper. Now this is from ColourPop. I love ColourPop's formulas, however, I do suggest you going in first with some Vaseline or a moist, lip moisturizer, just something to moisturize your lips while you do your makeup so that when you go in to apply it's not as drying because it is really drying. So you guys, this is the final look using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I am very happy and very satisfied with the palette. I know that there's a lot of people that don't, either you either don't like it or you like it. I think um, Jaclyn really does uh, promote Morphe because they are really good shadows. I mean, I can't tell you that, oh my god, they're the best quality. But they are very good quality and they are it's a lot better than a lot of the high-end products that I even own. So um, the quality is great. The range of shadows and colors is, is amazing. I think Jaclyn Hill did an awesome job with her palette. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm gonna I definitely see myself using that every single day. Um, you know, until something else new comes out. Um, but yeah, I definitely am. I'm, I'm super happy with it. I'm really liking the way this look came out. So, what do you guys think? And uh, let me know in your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video.